Steve, did you, which came first? Did you start working in, in your field in, in Hollywood, wanting to be an actor and, and working toward directing and things like that? Or did you come to Christ first? Where? Well, I grew up going to church starting from the age of 13. And since then, um, I wouldn't say that I lived a very devoted Christian life. I was more of what you would call a nominal Christian. And throughout my life, I actually wanted to become a film director to go in and pursue my earthly dreams, to make it big, to make it famous. And things didn't work out in terms of the directing field, and I had to actually take on another route so that I can enter into the Hollywood business. So I decided to go in as an actor or a background artist so that I can step onto set and to really be there, to experience it and to establish the connections. And it was actually there in um, about September of 2007 that I met a Christian on set named Jonathan Kahn. And I saw him going around just like preaching the gospel to everybody. And to me, that was just unheard of. Never seen anything like that before in my life. And he told me his testimony about how he became Christian and how the Lord led him to evangelize everybody in Hollywood. So had he, he started out as a Christian before he worked in Hollywood or he, he came to Christ in? Well, he came to Christ already and then he was placed in Hollywood sovereignly by the Lord and it was there that God used him to reach out to celebrities, to celebrities even like Steven Spielberg, Harrison Ford, wow. Dan Aykroyd, um, Michael Douglas. Yeah, the list just goes on and on. And I was just so inspired when I saw that, that I wanted to do it myself. So next thing you know, he gave me some resources that helped me to train myself in evangelism and to fully understand the gospel. And then I was motivated and I started going out there and sharing the gospel with everybody as well, even famous celebrities. Well, you, you said it's, it's, like, uh, it's like a different culture. It's not um, people in that field aren't, aren't the same as, as people that are, uh, you know, working in the heartland of America. Uh, how did you have to kind of prepare yourself on how to speak to people that, that have been surrounded by this wealth and opulence and, and catered to, or, or was it just, you know, I'm just going to share my simple faith? Well, in that kind of environment, it's, it's very, it's a little bit different. You do have to be a little bit more cautious because if you say, things that are a little bit off, then people could get really touchy, especially if you talk about quote unquote religion. So approaching it, you always have to definitely be loving and definitely go in and to really have that mindset to want to reach out to them. And it's just like a mission field. You just go to them and you share the word with them and the reactions are unpredictable. Sometimes people will love you for it. Sometimes they'll be indifferent and then sometimes they'll be hostile and antagonistic and that's just something you just have to expect as an evangelist especially in Hollywood in an environment that tolerates any biblical any philosophy except other, Christianity except Christianity <laughs> yeah and it's, it's funny that they would do that why do you why do you think there's such an antagonism toward Christianity well, it's spiritual warfare that's all I can really say about it it's just a very opulent wealthy place and the more money you have, the more you're going to trust in it. And you're going to look for other idols and other philosophies to try to fill the void in your heart that God is supposed to fill. So that's why they turn to other philosophies and religions, whether it's like Scientology, New Age, pantheism. Because Christianity or Jesus, I mean, they just can't tolerate that because Jesus confronts your sin and demands that you see yourself as spiritually bankrupt and that you need to return from your self-righteousness and rely on Christ alone to save you and that you can't be your own savior and that's something that Hollywood has not really grasped or is, or is really willing to grasp. Were there, were there any, did you have any major successes when you're looking at, at what you've done so far? I mean, you've written the whole book, Hollywood Mission, uh, Mission Possible, yes. uh, based on your life story, but uh, were there any major successes or major failures? That, that you had? His place, his place. Travel advisories to small business loans. Retirement savings to Medicare coverage. ID theft protection to contacting elected officials. Student loans to taxes online. Whether you have information to get or ideas to give, USA.gov is the official place to connect with your government. 
From surplus car auctions to finding a new job, our new mobile apps will keep you updated on the go. So, from marriage records to passport applications, veterans' benefits to birth certificates, patent applications to energy-saving ideas, product recalls to home buying tips. Check out USA.gov because the country runs better when we stay connected. Troublemaker. Children enter foster care because they're victims of neglect, abuse, or abandonment. I am not too old. Children age out of foster care systems at age 18, leaving them entirely on their own if they're not adopted. We're not twice the burden. Many siblings in foster care have to be split up, losing the only biological family they have. I am not just a number. 115,000 children in the United States are waiting in foster care to be adopted. I am not unlovable. Find out more about what children in foster care are really like and help us find them forever homes. So you, you worked on Moneyball? I mean, that, that movie, I just saw that movie on DVD. Yeah, I worked on that movie on around August of uh, 2010 at Sony Studios and I worked on that movie and I knew that Brad Pitt was on that movie and I wanted to evangelize him since I was in this goal of trying to evangelize as many celebrities as possible because they need the gospel as well. So I approached Brad at the end of the night. He ran out of the soundstage just really quickly because I'm assuming he wanted to just get home to An Angelina and the kids right away. So. I shook his hand and we just kind of greeted each other goodbye and then before he left, I mean, usually I want to verbally share the gospel with him but at this moment he just wanted to leave so I just gave him a gospel tract and I gave him one of these uh, million dollar bills, it's like a celebrity edition, I don't know if you've ever seen this before no. but this is the one with Tom Hanks, Tom Hanks yeah. I gave him the one with Brad Pitt on it uh -huh. so Brad Pitt was so shocked when he got it, he looked at it and he was like, what is this, what is this? And then I told him, well, that, that's you, Brad. And, you know, check out the message in the back. It's pretty cool. So he says, all right, I'll check it out later. Good meeting you. So then he just revved up his golf cart and left. And I thought everything was just fine and dandy and because everything went so smoothly. And then about a week or two later, I get a letter from my casting company, Central Casting, stating that I got fired. And they wouldn't even tell me the reason why. But I knew it was because of this incident that I lost my job and background acting career in Hollywood. Is there that type of persecution for Christians in in Hollywood? I mean, are there other Christian actors or other Christian people working in Hollywood that that uh, you know they they really you know they they really as they share their faith or living their faith they're putting their careers on the line. Yeah, of course there are Christian actors here and there. You've heard of like Kirk Cameron, how even he gets flack for sharing about his faith or his views on certain issues and yeah that's why a lot of them really are afraid to share their faith or to come out as a Christian it's almost like coming out of the closet and that's why I'm encouraging I'm inspiring for more Christians to really enter into Hollywood and to preach the gospel very boldly because you know the Hollywood needs the gospel especially a lot of these famous actors and actresses who will die without the salvation of Christ so this is a very real issue and I just pray that the Lord will just open up more doors for this to happen. Well I, I know you, you came into Pittsburgh I, I saw you on the Cornerstone television